Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering The Darkness. Now, he made his first appearance in Witchblade issue number 10 in November of 1996. And the current wielder of this power goes by the name of Jackie Estacado. But it is noted that the original wielder of the power was Christian Estacado. Now, the power of the darkness is an elemental force that allows those who wield it to access an otherworldly dimension and control over the countless legions of darklings that dwell there. They're given the power to create constructs and summon otherworldly beings to serve them, limited only by strong light and their imagination. The signature ability of the darkness is the creation of an invulnerable mystical armor that the host can then wear. This armor significantly augments the host's strength, speed, and endurance, making him a powerhouse and a challenge to even the most physically powerful of superhumans. Now, each wielder of the darkness has a different appearance and design of the armor because it's a reflection of the host's character. They then have a degree of extreme invulnerability and superhuman strength. Even Batman, a man in peak physical condition with a bench press that's been estimated to be at about a thousand pounds, described the strength of the darkness armor as infinitely stronger than himself. While wearing the armor, darkness hosts become almost unstoppable, and even most superpowered beings must consider their own strength before facing an armored darkness host. The darkness has been shown to be able to lift cars with ease, bend steel, break chains, crush stone, and to send grown men flying across rooms with the slightest touch. He can also run at speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour, and his reflexes are similarly accelerated, allowing him to deflect bullets with his wrist. He's even so fast that at close distances, he can seem to appear or disappear from sight. He also has the ability to change his appearance to perfectly mimic the look and voice of others. And when going all out, he's even been shown to be able to take on the form of dragon-like creatures. Now the darkness armor also energizes its host and allows him to remain active indefinitely without getting tired. In addition to this, the armor supplies oxygen. And so the host can then survive in outer space, underwater, or in gas-filled rooms. The darkness also has a form of healing factor and is able to heal very serious wounds and massive loss of tissue in mere seconds. Now, without listing on and on and on, the darkness has massive mystical powers. He can literally do things that defy the laws of physics and can create anything that he desires, ranging from physical constructs to actually creating sentient beings. Now, as I stated earlier, the darkness is an ancient living power, and this power dates back to before human history and even to the beginning of the universe. The darkness itself is depicted as a masculine spirit of chaos, as well as one of the two primal forces of the universe alongside its female celestial counterpart, the Angelus. The darkness was cast aside as the preeminent force of primordial creation when God allowed the light of the Angelus to pierce into chaos, igniting a cosmic war between darkness and Angelus while creation expanded and took form around them. At some point during this conflict, the darkness and Angelus agreed to a truce to prevent their mutual destruction. To ensure this truce, as well as their lasting perseverance, the two primordial beings consummated, resulting in the conception of the Witchblade. Now, the Witchblade served as the balance between these two fundamentally different deities, keeping both the darkness of chaos, as well as the celestial light of order at bay, and harmoniously synchronized to ensure the lasting stability and harmony of creation itself, while maintaining their presence and necessity in the order of the universe. At some unspecified time after the birth of Witchblade, the darkness began seeking a vessel within human bloodlines. It had virtually always chosen depraved bloodlines of criminals and warlords to ensure that vessels remained in positions of worldly power. The extreme power of the darkness remains dormant within the host until reaching the moment of its 21st birthday. At this point in adulthood, the darkness manifests and the vessel becomes endowed with the powers and vulnerabilities of the darkness itself, as well as his purpose in creation. Now, Jackie Estacado is the current wielder of the darkness and a former hitman for the Franchetti family mob. He's an extremely violent and sexual man, but although he lives on the wrong side of the law and can kill without remorse, he has a strict set of morals and fierce loyalty. The only thing keeping him from being purely evil is his true love, Jenny Romano, and his love for his daughter, Hope. Jackie was born in 1981 in New York City and joined the mafia at the age of six after being adopted by mafia crime boss, Frankie Franchetti. Frankie had been told by a mysterious stranger named Sonatine that Jackie's presence in the mob would make Frankie more powerful. Jackie came to the mafia life easily, making his first hit at 16, and his actions within the mob contributed to Franchetti becoming the most powerful Don in the city. But when Jackie turned 21, his dark powers awakened and he learned of his evil heritage. He spent much of his time escaping from or fighting the Angelus, Sonatine, and the Brotherhood of the Darkness. 
At one point, he tried to quit the mob, but Frankie kidnapped and killed Jenny, a childhood friend of Jackie's. Subsequently, in a warehouse showdown with Franchetti's crew, the warehouse blew up, killing Frankie and burning Jackie as well. Jackie then spent two days wandering around hell while searching for Jenny until Tom Judge came and gave him hope. That hope was a gift that allows men to exit hell, and Jackie's body was then reconstructed by the darkness. Jackie then returned to life to find Franchetti's mob taken over by Frankie's cousin, Paulie. Now, Paulie being able to discover Jackie's secret, blackmailed Jackie into doing hits for him. Along the way while doing this is when Jackie actually learned how to make certain constructs out of the darkness. For instance, how to make a gun. As he gets more powerful, Jackie soon turns on Paulie and takes control of the Franchetti family, eventually taking on the triads and fighting the Russian mafia in Atlantic City. After a confrontation with the Angelus, Jackie abandoned the mafia life and fled to a place called Sierra Munoz. There he hoped to establish a new life and a new empire. He set up a drug cartel with a darkness-based narcotic made from his own bodily fluids, built an impenetrable fortress, and formed an army. But the residents of Sierra Munoz resisted Jackie's takeover, and they had the help of the U.S. Department of Defense, which wanted to capture Jackie for experimentation and to learn about his armor. Due to a level of inexperience, Jackie lost his battle with the army and was captured. Jackie learned that he had had a battle with the darkness, and his soul was cast into hell, leaving his body on earth. He made a deal with a demon who calls himself Sovereign, who promises in return for a number of assassinations to reunite Jackie's body and soul. Jackie fulfills the Sovereign's demands, including killing a demonically possessed nun, an immortal drug dealer, and surviving an encounter with a dream-stealing witch in Mexico. Eventually, while performing an assassination in Egypt, Jackie comes across a mysterious woman wearing a red ribbon who seems to lure him. He also meets a past darkness wielder named Aram, also known as the Foreigner, who explains that the Sovereign has been manipulating Jackie from the start and that both his soul and the darkness are still within him, merely repressed by his will and desire to be free of the darkness's influence. But ignoring the Foreigner, Jackie follows the woman and finds himself against the resurrected djinn created by a shaman specifically designed to kill darkness wielders. Finding the djinn to be virtually invulnerable to him, Jackie is guided to strangle the woman to death with her own ribbon, breaking the curse of the djinn and freeing the woman from her eternal servitude. Jackie is confronted by Aram, who further intimidates him into finally summoning the full power of the darkness once again. At this, Aram disappears, leaving Jackie with the realization of the Sovereign's manipulations and fully intent on revenge, now having the full control of his powers. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give The Darkness a rating of 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.